shots and I've got him. Got him. That's two for Avenger. Ow, you're beating me. Oh, well, this will be an interesting fight. This will be an interesting, interesting fight. Now... I gotta keep my range from him until I decide I wanna scoop in. Like right now he's gonna try and joust me so I can actually pre-turn on him a little bit. And then I can mostly stay on his ass. Here we go. He's gonna try and disengage. <laughs> Heavy Starfighter quite literally out accelerating a medium. But don't worry guys, it's, it's balanced. Okay, so now he's built up too much energy, so we have to string the fight out again. And we're gonna let him waste his ammo at long range. Keep letting him waste his ammo. So, again, right? Just kind of keep dodging across his line of fire. Get my shields back up because I took a hit there. And eventually he'll go down here, he'll accelerate through that. Because his shields are down, we've got to keep the pressure up because he's going to try and get his shields back up. There we go, back in. This, this might kill him on this run. Again, right? It looks like corkscrew. Look at the vector indicator, right? Look where it is. And it'll kind of dance across. So now, now this is a risky spot for me, but he didn't have good orientation, so this will be another nice tracking kill. There we go. That's it. Uh, Kiting. Welcome back, everybody, to um, another video. I'm uh, just gonna apologize um, for the voice today. I am, uh, I believe, I'm going through some form of strep throat or something. But uh, hopefully, the videos start to sound a little better in about 24 hours. But until then, it's gonna sound like I am working for Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Uh, so today I want to talk about something specific. I want to talk about returning to center. And what that means is look very carefully during this fight. Okay, Look very carefully at the direction of, I guess you could say, the space particles are shifting. Because this allows us to kind of have a good, like a good idea of where the momentum direction for our ship is actually moving. So here we have a little pre-nose on the next turn here. Because looking, judging by the direction of travel that his ship was, was performing and the speeds that we're fighting at, uh, to stay as close to him as I can, I have to make sure that I pre-nose. But during this turn, because right now we're in a really heavy turn, now we're starting to return to center. You'll notice that the little, like the greater than, less than sign, which resembles the direction of movement that my ship is focusing in, has returned to what I call center. Now it starts to drift to the left, and now it's off screen, right? Because now we're in a full turn. We're in a full turn right now, and once that turn starts to, like once you start making that kind of vector change, that's when you start rotating and pushing up strafe really hard. But see, now once we've made that turn, we want to close the distance, so we want to, what's called return to center. So we can do a corkscrew like we're doing now as we're what's called returning to center. Now once again, we're going to roll because we need to push ourselves up a little bit so that we actually maintain uh, a vector that's in line with our attacker. So to put this very simply, in order for me to get close to the enemy, I have to make sure that I'm not undergoing any kind of turn that's going to offset moving towards him. The best like, uh, you know, the, the closest, the, the fastest way towards the target is just a direct line to the target, okay? And the best way to achieve that is by now we're in a turn, right? Now we're hitting our up strafe really hard because we want to shorten that turn as best we can. We want to use a bit of boost. We want to move our nose as high as we can as we push, push towards the target. You always hear me saying push, push. And when I, what I mean by that is when I say push, push, it's because my left hand is pushing the left stick forward which is causing my upstrafe to enable at you know the highest it can. So right now, this is what's called returning to center. So during that turn, you see our vector indicator has once again returned to center. 
okay, which means it's on our screen within, you know, a few degrees of our target. Now, again, right, we're starting our course screw and we see that little shape, which resembles basically where our ship is relative to him. And now we're fighting inside what's known as the cone, right? Which I guess would be more visualized better as the cylinder, right? Which is a basic course screw. Once I gain the distance, now we're back into a turn because the enemy uh, starfighter has decided, oh, you know, I don't like this position. I'm going to change my vector and I'm going to burn away. And again, it's the same process, rinse and repeat, right? Make the turn. Once the turn has leveled out, return the vector back to center with the upstrafe and then continue to push your way towards the target to close the distance, right? This is what's known as returning to center. Now, this might be like almost too basic. You know, it's like, it's like, oh man, like, it's like, it's like of course, right? Like the, the fastest way towards the target is to just be beeline it towards the target. But I see so many pilots, so many pilots you know, they think that if they just guide their nose towards the target, that the ship is just going to magically go that direction. And it's just not the case, right? You must use your vector indicator to, as an assist so that you know where the momentum direction of your fighter is pushing. Okay. And as soon as that little vector indicator matches itself back up with the center of your screen, you know that you've returned to center. Right, and the best way you want to return to center is by no what whatever direction that you're drifting in, by rolling and then strafing up to get that vector indicator into the center, so that you can once again make a direct beeline right towards your target. And once you have that thing returned to center, then you can start your corkscrew maneuver as you slowly move your way in towards them. So let's take this turn for example. We've closed the distance because we we returned to center on the last turn. And once again, right, we're hard up strafing. We're push, push, pushing our left stick up. We're getting that push towards center. And once we've killed him, notice how we're very in line with him at the very end there because we've kind of canceled out our vector. Because in order for us to keep maintaining distance on him, we always want to return our momentum back to center, which means that wherever our nose is facing, that's the way our ship is pushing. That's where we're going, right? It sounds simple, guys. And it sounds like, you know, like, oh, of course. But again, I have seen so many pilots just sliding around all over the place. And they're asking me, like, Avenger, like, I can't stay on target. Like, I keep sliding out of the turns. I keep always trying to close distance, but I can never close. You know, again, if you build up too much momentum, too much energy with your main thrusters, and you're not canceling that with your bottom thrusters. You're not rolling into your vectors so that you're canceling that new that new turn. Then, yeah, you're going to always have trouble uh, getting closer to your target. That's why rolling effectively and quickly to get yourself from point A to point B, to close the distance, to get your momentum, to return to center, and to always keep advancing onto your target you know, it really makes a big difference, right? So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple tip, guys, but I just wanted to help kind of illustrate it and explain it and talk about it. I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope you were entertained. It was a lot of fun flying the Sabre, even though I find the Sabre not to be a particularly fantastic platform to fight, which I'll go into more detail in the next video where we'll do three matches against some Gladiuses and some gang fights. Um, but this video, I wanted to really drive home the point of understanding what returning your momentum to center is all about and that the best way to do it is to roll whatever direction you're sliding, cancel that momentum with your upstrafe to keep your nose on target, and then keep on advancing onto your target slowly and surely. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take a look at Predator mounts and use the code Avenger1 if you're interested in any kind of mounting systems for your joysticks. It's the ones I use and I find them to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to everybody who's come out to the stream and everyone who's been, been really supporting myself and the rest of the team here at Avenger Squadron. Guys, we couldn't do it without you, so thank you so much. I hope all of you guys have a chance to come join the Discord and get involved with myself and the rest of the team and the community here all trying to make ourselves... 1% better every day. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.